Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about fire skinks and how to take care of them. So fire skinks, they come from the tropical forests of uh, Western Africa. They come from Angola, Uganda, and uh, Guinea. They usually live between 10 to 15 years old, so they are a longer lasting lizard. So you'll probably have them for a pretty long time. So these guys get about 8 to 12 inches long, so they don't get too, too big, but they're not too small of a lizard either. So these guys will need a minimum of a 20 gallon tank um, for housing one adult. You can go larger, but we recommend to uh, at least have a 20 gallon tank um, that measures uh, 30 by 12 by 12. So as far as keeping more than one adult fire skink together, uh, never keep two males together. They will fight. Uh, you can keep two females or a male and a female, but never two males. As far as the substrate goes, you want to go with a more uh, tropical substrate like EcoEarth or what we use in our tank at the store. We use Jungle Mix and we mix it with uh, Repti Bark. We found that that's a really uh, nice mix for our tropical animals. So these guys, uh, they love to burrow. Like if you look into the cage at our store, you'll hardly ever see these guys above the ground. So they really like to dig down and they almost kind of swim through the, uh, the substrate at our store. So you want to make sure that you have about three to six inches of substrate for them to be able to dig down in. Well, since these guys like to hide, uh, make sure you give them plenty of places to hide. Uh, we have lots of different logs that you could use. We also have uh, different caves that you can use as um, human hides even. If you wet down some uh, sphagnum moss, you can put some inside of our little cave hides and you can even use it as like a little shed box. So that'll help them out when they have to shed. As far as their temperature goes, you'll want to make sure you have a hot spot of 90 to 95 degrees. So they do stay a little bit hotter. So since these guys are a diurnal species, you'll need a second bulb, the UVB bulb. And this is the one that provides the UVB rays that help break down the calcium in their body into a form they can use. And this helps prevent metabolic bone disease. As far as their diet goes, these guys are strict insectivores. We recommend that you give them as their staple food uh, crickets. And as a treat, you can give them like wax worms and mealworms and can even give them little cockroach nymphs. As far as how often you feed them, we feed our babies. We have a couple of young ones right now and we try to feed them, make sure that they have food every day available to them. And when we do feed them the crickets, we do dust it with calcium whenever we do feed them. But we make sure to give them multivitamin dusted crickets once a week. Um, it's only once, you shouldn't do it more than once a week because too much vitamins can be bad for them. For our adults, we feed, you can feed them every day, but they probably won't eat every day. We do about every other day for those guys. Now their daily care is pretty easy. Um, you just gotta check for poop, scoop any poop that's in their cage, uh, pull out any dead crickets or anything nasty like that. We also spray down the cage once a day with our water bottle uh, that helps keep the substrate nice and uh, moist and wet. So you don't want it soaking wet, but you do want it kind of damp so that they can dig down into it and it kind of creates humidity in their cage. So just once a day should be good. We also change their water dish every day. We make sure that they have fresh water. And what we do here is we scrub out the water dish every day. We don't use soap or anything. We just scrub it out just to get that layer of slime that sometimes builds up on the bottom. We just scrub it to get it out once a day. So yeah, these guys aren't too hard to take care of and they're really beautiful lizards. So if you want something a little different um, and a little bit more exotic, this one would probably be great for you. Oh, 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 oh,